Well, hello there. You're watching The Candy Show on YouTube. It's once again time for trash. We are trying to get to the actual bottom of my empties bag. Uh, this brings us very close, so this will take us into Vlogmas, and I'm going to start with candles. Uh, first up, Yankee Candles. I've never burnt those before. I know my sister used to love them. This one was Macintosh Apple. For the size of the candle, I don't find that it throws as much uh, scent as I would have liked. It, um, it burnt down though nicely and uh, the smell was uniform all the way through up. And the same is true for this one, which is Autumn in the Park. Um, yeah, I like the smell, but I didn't feel like it, you know, kind of went through the room. Another Bath and Body Works candle, as you know, I'm sort of making back up, reuniting with them, if you will. This one is Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. It's got the pumpkins on top. It's described as warm cinnamon, fresh ground clove, vanilla cream, and brown sugar. And that's just exactly what it smelled like. On the Road used up one of these little ones. It's called Be Sweet, again from Bath & Body Works. I really uh, enjoyed this one. Denise did not like the smell of this. And you know, I say this all the time, I don't always keep boxes, except when the boxes are gorgeous. And I went to uh, Nordstrom to take a look at the Teak Christmas candles. Last year after Christmas, I bought the three pack and put them away. I've got them out right now and I'm burning them. But this year, I didn't want to drop 300 bucks on the three pack. We smelled all three and the green one was the only one that we really liked the smell of. It's pine and look at the box. It's just so gorgeous. So I just thought I'd show you the box. Burning the candle now. When it's done, you'll see it. And one Tom Ford candle. This is Cafe Rose, which uh, was a very beautiful, typical Tom Ford smell. That rose undertone, but more masculine uh, teeth with it. Oh, so beautiful. Now we'll move on to Stinkies, and Denise is blowing through the Stinkies at the speed of light. Uh, just happened that this empties has caught a lot of hers. She used up uh, an Elizabeth and James Nirvana bourbon. Um, she took this from me. She was smelling all my perfumes and decided, hey, that bourbon would smell better on me than it does on you. And she's absolutely right. So I have since bought her the big bottle of this. It is gorgeous. Perfect for the fall and winter. This is another one she ended up taking out of my collection. It's the Velvet Rose and Oud from Joe Malone. Uh, Denise's, the scent that really like just screams Denise in winter and fall is Oud Wood by Tom Ford. So when she saw Oud on this, she took a sniff and sure enough, it smells wonderful on her. She also finished a Tom Ford scent. This is Tobacco Vani. I had originally bought this for myself too. So all three of these were bottles that when we were going through my perfume collection, she was like, I'll have that, I'll have that. And that's just fine because you know, they'd probably go off because I have so many bottles and she used it all up while it was still smelling fantastic. Now, I don't have any full bottles that I've gone through, but I've got a lot of minis that I used up. Uh, this is Poison Girl in a lovely little mini. I love these mini bottles. This is a really nice safe scent. You're not going to offend anybody with this. It's very pretty. It's not uh, heavy like the original Poison, which I love. Um, but really all the Poison Flankers, I've loved them all, but this one became very popular. I'm actually rocking a full bottle of this right now. This is Giorgio C by Giorgio Armani. I happened to get the one last Christmas. It's the original smell, but it has glitter in it. And you can actually really subtly see the glitter on your skin. It is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. You remember in the last empties, I had used up a Dylan Blue Perfume by Versace and Denise used up the original Dylan Blue by Versace. She liked it. Not as much as her Tom Ford's so. This is a Vanilla Intense by Atelier Cologne. Really beautiful vanilla, kind of a clean vanilla scent. And I used up some travel scents. I don't bring minis when I travel, I bring these. Um, this is Shalimar by Guerlain. I mean, enough said, you know how much I love that fragrance. That and Chanel number no. five were at the tippity top of what I love smelling on me. I've added one to that. And Denise will uh, agree. Uh, Thierry Mugler's Alien 
It smells fantastic on me. I'm enjoying that. I'm going to wear that on my birthday. I've got the body cream and the perfume, but Shalimar will always and forever be one of my favorites. This is a Molecule One. I finally tried Molecule One. I love it. I bought myself a little bottle of it. Um, it is that one molecule scent that is supposed to kind of mix with your own body chemistry and create like a little bit of a sexual attraction. I love it. I was sexually attracted to myself. I don't know if I attracted to anyone else, but sometimes I think all that matters is me. Uh, this was Joe Malone. Oh, this was Joe Malone Peony and Blush Suede, which is my absolute favorite Joe Malone scent. This is Viva La Juicy Glace. I've said it before and I will say it again. There is not a Juicy Couture perfume that I do not absolutely love. And this was Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs, which is a little light for me. It's a little too pretty, a little too sweet, a little too... not sweet, no, sorry, that's the wrong word, because not sweet smelling. I love sweet smelling perfumes. A little too like, oh, isn't she sweet? Not really my thing. Now in the area of scents we've got a lot of wallflowers that sort of collected in this empties bag. This one was pumpkin apple which was nice. This one was pumpkin cupcake also nice. This one was flannel which I'm not really I think it kind of smells like your dad. You know what I mean? I don't know what this one was because the little tag is off of it. And this one of course was leaves which you know I love. Used up three lip balms. This is uh, Burt's Bees Vanilla Bean, which was uh, kind of new to me and I just loved it. Burt's Bees Mango, which we've had before and we love. And as always, a Carmax. I used up a small travel size of the Coconut Body Butter from the Body Shop. I just love the smell and you know I'm a huge fan of Body Shop's Body Butters. This bottle got a little dirty in the bottom of the bag, but it is the Body Shop British Rose Fresh Plumping Mask. Is it as amazing as the Fresh um, Rose Mask? No. But the Fresh Rose Mask is what, 70 bucks for a pot? And I think this was like 15 bucks. So it's a good affordable option. And it comes in a really nice glass jar. When I picked it up, I was like, oh, is this not empty? But I forgot that the glass jars on these Body Shop masks are very heavy. You're no stranger to this or this. Denise loves her Palmer's Cocoa Butter. This is the Skin Therapy Oil. This is the Massage Lotion with Stretch Marks, her favorites. Now, while we were shopping the collection, um, I thought, you know, I've had this in my nightstand. It's the Waleda Skin Food, and I don't really have super dry skin, so I'm gonna pass that along to Denise. She used it up lickety split, and she absolutely loved it. So, you know how I always complain about black masks, that I hate the mess they make on my face cloths because I use white face cloths, blah, blah, blah. I got this Peter Thomas Roth Irish Moor Mud face mask. This has made me say to myself, just go buy a black face cloth because this is so good. I didn't put it on my cheeks. Um, here I am in menopause and I'm starting to get like right here and right here zits on my chin and when I get that I put this stuff on my chin I put it down my nose and sometimes I put a little bit in the middle of the forehead but it really clears up the skin quickly um, and it leaves a really fresh feeling on your face too I really enjoyed that so much so that I am gonna buy a black face cloth and dive back into this again when I need a new mask we used up another container of the Peter Thomas Roth uh, hydrogel eye patches. This is the 24 karat gold. I've said before this is the most expensive of the three he has. It's our least favorite. Our most favorite is this one which is the Cucumber Detox Hydrogel Eye Patches. Pretty much every morning of life you'll see Denise writing her morning pages with these under her eyes. She really loves them. I don't use them as much as she does but they give a lovely cooling tightening effect on the under eye. This was lovely. You know how I've been uh, mourning the loss of cocoa butter body lotion from the body shop? Well, this season I was able to get the shower cream. So I got the same kind of smell um, in the shower that I so miss putting on my body, but it was really nice. 
And speaking of which, wah, 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 this was the very last bottle of cocoa butter body lotion that I had. It's in the old packaging. Oh, how I mourn its passing. I pray thee, Body Shop, please bring it back. I've been using it for 30 years. Don't take my love from me. That's all I can say. It's so, it's so distressing. I used up a Molten Brown hand wash. This is the orange and bergamot. Never in my life have I had a hand wash last me so long as these Molten Browns. When I got them, I got two bottles. You saw the first one in an empties previously. I was like, mm, a little, little costly for a hand, uh, you know, a hand wash. You put one pump on your hand and it is literally, the amount of soap that comes out is the size of a pea. And if your hands are wet, you scrunch that up and it is enough to wash your hands. So you're using a pea size amount every wash. So it lasts forever. I wouldn't put it like where your guests are using it because they probably wouldn't know that and like scoo 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 use it so quickly, but oh boy, did I love it. You saw in the last empties that I had the partner to this. This is the Nature Queen conditioner. In the last video was the shampoo. As I said, the company sent me this without asking and without giving me any information about it or anything else. It just showed up in my mailbox and I enjoyed it. It's a very nice all natural shampoo and conditioner. Oh, sadness on the edge of town. This is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana body oil. It's the Nirvana white, obviously. Um, you probably can't see this on camera, but that bottle is gross, y'all. Like, totally gross. You know how when the oil gets on the outside and that stuff sticks to it? So I had used it when I was wearing that perfume, and then I used up the whole bottle of perfume. So I tucked it away because I have another bottle of Nirvana White, and I thought when I bring it out, I'll bring the oil back out. Sadly, the oil went off in the meantime. When I opened this and took a sniff, it was rank. So there's still about half a bottle, but sadly, I have to put it in the garbage. Denise used up a Clarins Body Lift Cellulite Smoother, uh, Target's Early and Stubborn Cellulite. She's just using anything she can to tighten, of course, because of the weight loss. I love this product, not for cellulite or tightening. In the summer when it's super hot, this makes you feel cold, and that's what I like using it for. I finished off an Ula Henriksen True, The Clean Truth Foaming Cleanser. This is an old one. It doesn't even come in this color bottle anymore, but it is a lovely cleanser. I use it in the morning. I don't use it as makeup remover or anything. This I use as makeup remover and I absolutely love it. This is the Liz Earl Naturally Active Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. Oh my god, I love this. This might actually be pulling ahead of Emma Hardy's uh, Moringa Face Balm, which is big words. If you've been watching for a long time, you know how much I love that balm as a remover. I love this because... The Emma Hardy balm and most of the other balms, you massage it in and then there is this center step where you wet your hands and you turn it into like an emulsion. And inevitably, the reason I don't like oils to do this is when I wet my hands and I come up to my face, the water drips down here, gets on my PJs. I, I love my PJs. I don't like getting stuff on them. Um, with this one, you massage it in and then you take the hot cloth to rub it off. There isn't that center step and I think that's why I like this so much but it also leaves a very fresh feeling on the face. Gotta have good smelling bits. This was from the summer. I use... I don't use an antiperspirant all the time. In the summer I use it pretty regularly because it's so hot. In the winter I use natural deodorants that don't have the aluminum in it. Um, but if I am going to use Antiperspirant Dove is my favorite. This one is Advanced Care 48 Hour, and it's just kind of the, um, like, oops. It's just the shea butter smell. This is a great cleanser. It's the Clarins One Step Gentle Exfoliating Cleanser. So there's tiny little bits in it uh, that gives you a bit of an exfoliation at the same time that you're washing. Came to the end of this. This is the Beauty Blender uh, Blender Cleanser. It's the liquid version. I bought this like when Beauty Blenders first became available to us here in Canada and I really loved it for a long time. But once the solids came out for the, ble the Beauty Blenders, they're my favorite. So I've got a big solid now. I probably will never go back to the liquid. This, if I didn't have a thousand hand creams on deck, I would so buy this in full size. This is Vichy Hand and Nail Cream 
Wow, what a beautiful smell, what a beautiful texture. If you're someone who doesn't like hand cream that feels real thick, this feels so thin, it drinks in so quickly, but it is so moisturizing. Vichy Hand and Nail Cream, I totally recommend that. This is another product that I love. This was in my travel kit. It's the Living Proof Nourishing Styling Cream. It's just a really nice all-around styling cream when you don't want to put a whole bunch of products. Put this in, give your hair a blow dry. It's, it, it blows it out pretty smooth. Also from my travel kit, a little baby Bioderma. You know how much I love Bioderma. And you know how much I love Lancome Genifique Serum and this also got used up. I love and have loved for years the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. This was the eye concentrate. That was also really gorgeous to use. This I didn't like, and that's unusual because I love Jerlique. This is the Jerlique Rose Moisture Plus Moisturizing Cream Mask. Um, it's one of these masks that you can sleep in all night, but you only use it once a week. Um, and it really is, I think, too heavy to use more than that. Jerlique products are all natural, so they expire fairly quickly. It, did, it felt goopy going on, but then the next morning my skin didn't feel plumped by it. There are so many other masks, like sleeping hydration masks, that I prefer to this. Um, I would never buy this one again. This is the Body Shop Drops of Youth Serum. A lovely serum. It's, it's not doing a whole bunch for you, do you know what I mean? But, it, but, it, but it's nice. I like the... Um, I think it's called Oils of the Earth. I think that's the serum I like better from the Body Shop. This is a really interesting product. This is from First Aid Beauty. It's the Coconut Water Cream. When you open it, it's almost like a jelly texture, and I thought, oh, this is, this is for a younger person. This isn't gonna be enough moisture for me. And when I bought it, I bought it like last winter, and it wasn't. It wasn't enough moisture for me, but I waited till the summer. And in the summer, I get a lot more oil in my skin. Obviously, the air has a lot more moisture in it. Um, and I used this all this summer, and it was beautiful and refreshing, and it was the perfect amount of moisture without making me oily. I really, really enjoyed it. Dr. Hoshka, a line that I have loved since my 20s. This is the facial toner. I didn't put it on a cotton pad. It comes in a nice spray bottle, so I just sprayed after cleansing and before moisture, and I loved it. I love Dr. Hoshka product. Denise isn't totally into the Tarte neck cream or anything. She went through two of these Tarte Maracuja neck treatments, which she loved until, until searching through my collection, she found Strivectin. Oh, of course it's more expensive. NIA 114 TL Advanced Tightening Neck Cream. People swear by it. I love it. I love the smell of it. She has stolen it from me. Denise, when I met her, it was like life brand body lotion. Head to toe. That was it. When I moved into her house with all my goodies, she looks through all my goodies. I'm trying to encourage her. She automatically went to the most expensive thing I had at the time, which was a vitamin C serum from the body shop. And nothing has changed ever since. When she's going through my perfumes, it's the most expensive one she loves. And now she's into the Strivectin all over. The $70 body cream, the $90 neck cream. Miss Denise is turning into an uptown girl. This is the Provage Daily uh, Anti-Aging Moisture Cream, SPF 30. This is by Elizabeth Arden. I love the whole Provage line. It's so expensive, but it really is beautiful. And her SPF is one of the few SPFs that don't leave a white cast on me. Uh, this is a product that I love by Lancome. It is the Re-Energy Re Lift Multi-Action Cream. I got this in a gift with purchase. I got a jar of the day cream and the night cream. I use them both together, but the night cream is still on my nightstand. There's a couple more uses to go because at night I alternate. One night I use night cream, the next night I use oil. Um, so I've got a little bit more to go with that, but I love that product. This is a favorite of Denise's. This is from Pharmacy. It's the Sleep Tight Firming Night Balm, and it's just like a balm, and for dry skin like hers, it is magical. This I love so much I bought in full size. It's the Tatcha Violet C Radiance Mask. It is beautiful, first of all, when you put it on, it's like this gorgeous violet color. 
um, and then it really leaves your skin plumped and glowy. Um, sometimes I, you know, I think like we spend all this money on a mask when you take it off, you don't feel any different, but this one you really feel it working on the skin. So I bought it in full size. I really loved it. Speaking of the Strivectin, this is the Strivectin Tightening Neck Serum Roller. So it's got one of these cool rollers on it and you roll on the serum first and then put the neck cream on after and it's lovely. This I got as a gift with purchase. It's the Extra Firming Neck Anti-Wrinkle Rejuvenating Cream by Clarins. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, I have such a dewlap though and you know weight loss is just results in loose dewlap skin. I think for me the only thing that would really help there is if I get that surgically done so but in the meantime I just like to use a neck cream anyway and see if it'll help. Came to the end of this. This is a phone cover by Kate Spade. I don't know if you can tell it's like pale pink and gold stripes and then clear stripes. Um, it's going for two reasons. It was the cover I had on my phone while I was in the hospital and I it just I have like bad association to it but also I had it on my phone forever and it is really beat up looking and I have lots of other covers so I'm letting that go. I used a bunch of Incocos which you can go to um, my Instagram and see what all of these were. I always post my nails there. And the individually packed wet ones which I love having in my purse. And I've got some packets. Uh, this is one of those beautiful Asian uh, face sheet masks. It is all in Asian. Oh no, there's a tiny little bit of English. Gold and hyaluronic acid mask. Love it. This is the Karuna eye mask. I love these eye masks, how big they are and how far across your face they go. The avocado sheet mask from Sephora. You've seen this before. This is the acai hair mask from Sephora. This is called My Beauty Diary. It's another one of those gorgeous Asian face masks uh, sent to me by one of you and I am just so enjoying using those and you are right my friend. The Asian sheet masks like kick North American sheet masks all the hell. Um, this one is the Sephora pearl face mask. In fact I'm gonna say this it's a bold statement especially with Denise close enough to hit me. Um, I am so impressed with these Korean face sheet masks. Anytime I saw the SK2 sheet mask price, I was always like, you have got to be kidding me. And then Lisa Eldridge talked about the fact that she always has those in her kit because she swears by them so much and she's pretty much usually right, but I still was like too expensive. Now that I'm seeing how good those Asian sheet masks are, it makes me think that maybe the SK2 is actually worth the money. Maybe for a special occasion sometime. I also have two empty boxes. This is the Dr. Dennis Growth uh, Acid Ferulic and Retinol Peeling Anti-Wrinkle Pads. Um, I use these a couple of times a week and I use his regular Alpha Beta pads on a nightly basis. So I always have a box of these and a box of the other on the nightstand. This I used up in the summer, but again it was at the bottom of the bag. It's the Kate Somerville Somerville 360 Body Self-Tanning Towels. It's just a really nice, neat way of self-tanning without the mess of a mitt and a bottle of goo and all of that. It's It goes on clear. There's no um, color in it. It does not make your skin as dark as Saint Tropez will. Um, but sometimes if you're just, I think even having them in the winter for when you're just going to go out and you don't want to wear nylons and you're wearing a dress, you can put a little color on your legs with that if you put it on in the morning. Uh, yeah, so I like them. So this is getting thrown out with only one of them used. Um, I shaved my face because since menopause I have grown peach fuzz, white peach fuzz all over my face. The first razor like this I tried was by Shiseido. I had to buy it on Amazon. It had to come from overseas. They are amazing. I got a pack of three. They're amazing. Then I saw that Sephora was carrying them all. I was like, oh, I'll get the Sephora ones. 
it's it's not sharp enough it doesn't it do, you have to keep going back over the skin in the same place and that irritates my skin I want one where I can just like and the hair is gone so that I'm not irritating and dragging on my skin so I was really disappointed with these so I'm throwing the other two out I haven't even used them pretty gorgeous colors not useful uh, came to the end of this lipstick this summer. This is a NARS lipstick in the color Niagara, which is a really beautiful kind of corally orange. I guess corally nude, you would call it. Anyway, it's a color that I love in the summer, and I obviously love it because I use the whole dang thing up. I also use this. You would have seen this in the What's in My Bag uh, videos. This is a Chanel lip balm, and I dug it out to get every last drop of it. I just love a lip balm in my purse that looks this fancy. Uh, right now I have the Lancome Rouge Absolute lip balm. Because again, it's just, when you're out somewhere, you pull it in a pretty compact, put some lip balm on, it's just so much better than a chapstick, you know what I mean? I uh, used up a couple of lashes. This is the Ardell, this is the Ardell Wispies in black. I'm wearing uh, Ardell Wispies right now. I love these. And this is the Quo 804s, which I also love. I was complaining because Quo had reformulated their lashes. They weren't available for a while. They came back in new packaging. And my attitude is always don't fix what's not broke. These were my favorite lashes. Now they're even more my favorite lashes. They actually did improve them. I'm loving them. You saw one of these in the last video. This is the Tarte Clay Stick. This one was a bit darker. I actually used it for contouring and it worked beautifully. Really nice blendable contour. This is, I forget what they call these by Bite Beauty. Um, it's the stick that you roll up. This was in the color rhubarb, which is basically that color. Just a really nice nude kind of my lips, but better color. Um, so it's one that you can just kind of put on every day. You don't need a mirror to throw it on. Unlike this incredible red that I'm wearing right now. This red, by the way, because I know you're going to ask, is by Besame Cosmetics. It's called Cherry Red. It's inspired because Lisa Eldridge just came out with her velvet lipsticks. And I was like, oh, I haven't worn a red in a long time. And a blue red makes the teeth look so nice and white. So I dug out my Besame, which I... I've always loved Besame red lipsticks, all their reds. This was a deluxe sample of Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. One of my favorite mascaras, so incredibly black and just makes your lashes so lush. This is a love-hate mascara. So when Monsieur Big came out by Lancome, let's face it, Lancome are the queens of mascara. And I thought, well, I'm going to try Monsieur Big. I absolutely loved it. This is Monsieur Big waterproof. Now, here's the love part. I love it because it builds your lashes the same as the original. Um, I love it because it says it's waterproof and it really is. Dive in the water, have a hose in your face. Your lashes are going to look great. Here's the hate part. At the end of the night, when it's time to remove this, you need some turpentine and a chisel. Like it is, it is a full-time job getting this off your lashes. And even when you think you've gotten it all off, you wake up the next morning and there's still a dark smudge. So that, excuse me, that is like my only complaint is that it is hard to get off. But if you've got a big day, your wedding, whatever, where you think you might cry, or you're going to a pool party, you want to look cute, this will not budge once it sets up on your lashes. I think I got Denise to look at the bottom. I think this is called Hello Lashes by It Cosmetics. The It Cosmetics uh, mascara where the tube is like an hourglass. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love that one. So I thought I would try this one. I don't love it as much as that one, but it is still an incredibly good mascara. It really gives you length and lift. And I kind of like the top. It's got a bit of a spongy feel to it. Just really nice. Oh, I'm letting this go. I didn't use it all the way up, but it's gotten too old now. It's the MAC Pro Longwear uh, Concealer. It's even gone off in color. It's not the same color that it was when I bought it. I do love this concealer. I don't know why it ended up falling down to the bottom of my concealer bag, but um, it is a really nice concealer. This was boring. It's Elizabeth Arden. 
uh, what's she calling it, lasting impression mascara, didn't leave a lasting impression on me. Um, kind of a Christmas tree shaped wand, and when I put it on it was kind of like wah, 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 nothing much. Now, people swear by drugstore mascaras, and I'm like, yeah, they're good, but they don't really do a lot, you know, they don't really build a lot. Once again, Lisa Eldridge, I feel like this is the ode to Lisa Eldridge empties. Um, she recommended this Max Factor mascara, which the UK Max Factor is like CoverGirl here in uh, North America. It's Max Factor Masterpiece Glamour Extensions 3-in-1 Volumized Mascara. It comes in this really pretty gold and black tube. When I saw the wand, I thought, I'm going to hate it. There's barely any bristles. It's wider at the tip than it is here. At the beginning, there's like no bristles at all, and then it builds up to like sort of a little bit of bristle. It's fantastic. And like, because those bristles are so short, you can get in really close at the, at the root and give it a good wiggle before you sweep up. It is so good, it is almost like you don't need false lashes, false lashes with it. Um, really, for a drugstore mascara, super impressive. I was sad to see the end of this. They don't make it anymore, and I really loved it. It's the Too Faced Beauty Balm. When BB Creams first kind of hit the market, they came out with this. They were, I think, 50 bucks a tube. What I love about this BB Cream is it has a lot of coverage. Uh, this particular one was in Vanilla Glow. They had really nice um, shade range that wasn't all pinky. And uh, yeah, I really loved it. I had two of them, I think, during the time they were available. And now they're gone. Yeah, here's the new packaging for the Quo Lashes. Um, it's so they're like kind of plastic, soft plastic instead of cardboard now. And this is 806 and 804. And I also used a Red Cherry Lash. Love them all. We're down to the last little bin of goodies, folks. Uh, so this is by Too Faced. It was their lip liner. Again, I don't think they make this anymore. It was in Perfect Spice. It's uh, one of those universal colors that I use sometimes with just some lip balm and it can go under any lipstick that you're using because it really matches your lips more than it matches the lipstick. I liked it, but not as much as this bad boy. This little nubbin is my favorite lip liner of all time. This is Spice by MAC for me, and I mean not just for me, for millions because this is one of their most popular products. It is the perfect My Lips But Better color. I use it with every color of the rainbow and I was sad to see it come to an end, but you know I replaced that mighty quickly. This I was a little disappointed in, particularly for the price. This is Tom Ford's Brow Gel, but I, I don't know if it's because the wand is kind of big or what, but it... <laughs> To me, it, it like plumped my brows too much, if you know what I mean. Like whether I wanted it or not, I looked like Eugene Levy. Every single time I put this on. Like I color my brows in every day that I wear makeup. I come out, Denise looks at me, says you look nice today. Every single time I put this on, I come out and Denise would go, whoa, 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 with the brows there. So like it really, it Eugene Levied my brows. Maybe I bought the wrong color maybe i don't know i even kept it for a long time to see if it would dry out a bit so it wouldn't be so but like i love glossier brow boy um what is it yeah boy brow i love um the benefit one but this was just too much for mama bear this was a glorious product uh this is the hourglass lip oil it came in this kind of really fancy scientific kind of Things so we could squish down here. Oh, look, and a little tiny little bit came out. So a little bit of oil comes out. I'm not going to put that on this matte lip, but it's just, you can wear it as a gloss because it's so shiny, but it's nourishing your lips. So I wore it to bed every night and really loved it. This you've seen a thousand times because I wear it every day and I'm wearing it now. It's the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. It's the only thing I wear on my bottom lashes that won't flake or end up rubbed on my under eye area. So once they came out with this and I discovered it, I've never looked back. 
And the final item in this empties is a fairly new drugstore product. This is from L'Oreal. This is the Color Riche Shine lipstick in, I got it in enamel red, which is what, uh, I think it was Napita, Napita Nalongo might have been the one advertising it. Um, and it, it's such a pretty color, but it is a hot mess. So the idea is, oh, it's really moisturizing. Yeah, it's moisturizing. It is too damn moisturizing because you put it on and two minutes later you look in the mirror and you're like, oh my God, there's like lip stuff everywhere. On top of that, this lid, even though look, it sounds like it snaps on pretty good, every time I would go in my purse and it was off and that's why I got down to the bottom of it. Not because I used it all, because I had to keep cutting it where it got all messed up in my bags and made a mess of some of my bags. Um, so I'm glad I only tried that in the one color. I would not get it again. It just traveled all over my face. And you know, when you're aging, like you can't visibly see that I have wrinkles around my lips, but if you're up on me with a magnifying glass, you can tell that I am 50. I'm gonna be 50 here in a week. And this, as soon as I put it on, oh, you didn't need a magnifying glass because that just whoop, ran up the wrinkles. So. Unless you're super duper young and you don't mind risking this in your bag, I would not recommend it. And that is the end of the empties. Now it is uh, the 27th today of November yep. when we are taping this. The boys are coming on Saturday. This is Tuesday. I'm going to try to squeeze in a what's in my bag, but I'm, I don't promise you anything. Um, because we are, have a lot to do between now and when the boys get here. I do promise you this, however, during Vlogmas, on one of the days of Vlogmas, we are going to talk about Denise's health. Now, people have been asking, saying, you know, can she tell us what she's doing? Because, as you know, Denise, three years ago, lost a lot of weight and then has had this new... Uh, she's come down again, but also has really gotten like super fit. Denise is super fit right now, I think is the best way to put it. Denise is an introvert and she's shy on top of that. So the idea of her just talking straight to the camera is a bit much for her. And then all of a sudden I was laying in bed one day and I was like, uh, hello, I'm an interviewer. That's, that's what I do. That's what I've been doing for 20 years. Um, and I'm a good interviewer and shy people love being interviewed by me because I set them at ease. So I said to Denise, how would you feel if we did that video as a video of me interviewing you about your journey? And she is on board. So one of the days during Vlogmas, probably shortly after the boys leave, we will do that and we will include it in that day's vlog and we'll just make the title, we'll you know make the subtitle of it that so that you know what it is. So anyway, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that. Give me a thumbs up if you're still loving these long empties videos and I will see you in vlog me